Hi people, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Tonight I'm going to present you guys a software called Blender. Now Blender is an open source software and open source means that it's completely free. And this software you can use it for any purpose. For your own purpose or for commer uh, commercial purposes and things like that. And if you don't believe me, just go to their site and you will see it right there when you enter to a website. Now blender what it is blender is a software for making 3d objects models uh, movies or games yeah sounds nice right you have like three softwares and one only It's way much better than playing with three different softwares on your computer that has that has different properties and has different interfaces now right here what you see is your perspective view I'm gonna be really quick what uh, we have with the interface right here I'm gonna show you guys a couple of, of keys that you need to use and that you will want to use to work a lot faster with uh, your project <coughs> first of all right here on the top you can add your mesh curve surface blah, blah 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 from here you can add a lot of things to your project especially the meshes from here you can render I have nothing right now. Let me put the cube back. Back from here, you can render, as you can see. I'm just gonna keep it right here. Now, from here, you can choose if you're gonna uh, create something for an image. So, if you're gonna create a game, a uh, game, or if you want a cycle render, just keep this on Blender render right now. From here, you have a lot of properties for rotation, scaling, and all the things. And right on your right panel, you have a lot of properties. Uh, so you can insert a name, let's say the cube, it says my cube one and things like that. You have textures, materials, pull this a little bit over here. From here we have the material, we have the textures and all those kinds of stuff. From here in the middle that you see right here is your perspective view. On the bottom you have your timeline. Now your timeline is used uh, for the animations that you will be creating for your objects like character moving, a gun reloading and things like that. Now talking on our perspective view if we want to change to a quad view so we can see the front, the top and the side just hold your control key, alt key and letter Q and as you can see we have four views here from different sides you have the Y, the Z, and the X. And this is right here what you see. It has three different arrows with different colors, red, green, and yellow. This is called the ACES. Now to return to your perspective view, Control key, Alt, and Q. And here we are on our perspective view. Right here, what you see is the camera. This one that uh, that you have here is what will uh, it will be showing uh, exactly what you want people to see. Now, to see your camera view, just on your num cat uh, your num keypad, press the zero button uh, key. My bad, zero. And from here, you are only seeing what the camera can see. And press the zero, the zero key again, so you can go back to your perspective view remember control key alt Q for the quad to return to return back again control alt Q and if you want to choose your camera press the zero on your keypad and we are back on our perspective view now to move around like I'm doing right now just hold your middle uh, button this scroll button and just move around to see the objects all the sides uh, that it has. Now if you want to zoom in just scroll in the mouse if you want to zoom out just scroll out the mouse. Now for quicker access to the zoom just hold your control key hold your scroll button on your mouse and just drag up or back so you can zoom in quicker. Now if you want to move your scene here around around the, the window just hold your shift key hold your scroll button mouse and just move it around let's zoom in again I'm gonna keep it right here 
There we go. Now, let's say that you want to add uh, a mesh or something. Now, first of all, let me tell you guys that if you want to select a mesh that you have right on, on your scene, just right click on the mesh on the object. And for deselect, just press the A. As you can see, it has deselected the object. Right click for selection, A for deselection. If you have a couple of objects and you want to select them all, let me say that we have this little sphere here. Deselect, pressing the A. Now I want to choose both of these objects. So you can press the shift key, right click on, the S on this object, right click on the other one and we have two objects selected that we can move at the same time the other way if you want to select uh, all objects on the scene just press your A key again so it can select all as you can see it has selected the light the camera the cube and the sphere A for deselection now let me delete this right click delete or DX and press enter so you can delete the object I'm gonna delete this camera here pressing the X enter has deleted so we have only the light and the cube now let's say you wanna add a mesh you can add it from here from the top or on your perspective window you can hold your shift key pr and press the A key for add and from here you can choose to add whatever you want so I'm gonna delete this right here. I'm gonna leave the cube. Now I wanna go to my perspective view pressing Ctrl Alt Q again because I wanna see that this is right on the center. There we go, there we go. Ctrl Alt key. Perspective view once again. Now let's say that you want to rotate the cube. To rotate the cube, just press your R key. And from here, you can choose to rotate the cube in any way that you want. Controls, control C to redo if you did something wrong. Now let's say that I uh, want to use, I want to turn around uh, from one side only. Let me delete this here because we need to use something else for this. Let's say, I don't know. Uh, okay we can use the cube we can use the cube okay first of all uh, let's let's show you guys first how to scale the object scale the object just press the S for scaling as you can see you can make it bigger or smaller now if you press S and Y you will be selecting the green uh, the green aces here as you can see it goes to the sides so from here you will only be scaling that side. Now if you press the S and the X you will be choosing the red one and if you press the S and the Z you will be choosing the blue one. Now A for deselection. Now let's say that I want to turn this, I want to rotate this 90 degrees so it could go flat right click so you can select the object hit the rotation that is the R key and let's choose the Y let's say that I want to rotate it at 90 degrees just type 90 hit enter that's it redo let me go back pressing the control key and the Z because that was wrong maybe now I want to do it again press the R key press the Y key enter 90 and press the enter key there we go Control c to redo let me say, let me uh change it to i don't know because i want to change the red one so just press the r the x 90 degrees enter so now you know how to rotate exactly from one side to another to the top or the bottom without uh Without doing anything wrong or leaving uh, leaving it uh, not directly from the vertical or or horizontal rule. Uh, I'm tired, really tired. It's like three o'clock on the morning. 
Okay, so I'm gonna finish finish this really quick. Control C because I want to redo this. Control C because I want to redo again. There we go. Now, what else do we got? Let me see. We I have all oh, we have. I have showed you guys rotation. I have showed you guys the scaling. How to select. How to deselect. How to change your views on your windows. Oh, there's still another thing on the windows. So let me go. Uh, okay. You see this right here that we have on the corner here. We have a plus icon and we have a little corner like an arrow. Press your shift key, left button, mouse, uh, left uh, mouse button, and just drag it out. As you can see, you can drag a new window so you can work with it if you have multiple monitors on your computer. Now let me close this. There we go. Now let's say that I want to open another window in this same window without taking it out, without popping out on a new window. Just drag the corner down. And from here you have two windows now. Now let's say that I want to choose here, uh, I want to choose quad view for this one. So you just click on the view and go to the quad view. See? Or you, if, let's say that you want to go to logic editor and you want to work with a couple of things for configuration setups for your mouse keys and maybe you're going to be creating a game or something like that this is like the unreal kismet from the unreal engine now if you want to go back to your 3d view just click on 3d view right here on the corner and that's it now let's say that you want to remove that window because uh... you want to see your perspective view at full screen just right click on the border and choose join area as you can see it's showing you a big arrow telling you which side you're going to join you're going to join window with window and join it with this one and as you can see it has deleted our other window now if you press the end key you'll have new options here on your right and if you press the end key again it will hide. If you press the tab key, you will go into the edit mode. As you can see here on the bottom, right now we are on the object mode. If you want to edit your mesh, just press the tab, the tab key. Select first of all, select the mesh that you're going to work. Press the tab key, and from here you will be working with your objects. But for this, uh, I'll be creating the second tutorial because if you keep on watching this tutorial only, you will get really messed up and you won't uh, remember a thing about what I told you or what I teach you guys on this tutorial number one. So I'm going to leave it right here. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Hope to see you guys on the second tutorial. Hit the like button, write a comment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.